The Netherlands, a land sculpted by the sea. For centuries, the Dutch have engaged in a delicate dance with water. They have claimed land from the sea and defended it with unwavering determination. Beneath its picturesque facade lies a network of ingenious defenses. These are the Dutch water defense lines, not imposing walls or towering fortresses, but a marvel of engineering and strategic brilliance. A complex system of canals, sluices and inundation areas designed to protect the Netherlands from invaders. The Dutch turned their greatest adversary, water, into their strongest ally. The concept of using water for defense was not new. Civilizations throughout history have employed water-based defenses. The Dutch, however, elevated it to an art form. They harnessed and controlled water with devastating force. The water defense lines allowed the Dutch to selectively flood vast swaths of land. This created an impenetrable barrier against invading armies. These lines were a symbol of Dutch ingenuity, resilience, and determination. More than engineering marvels, they were a testament to human ingenuity in the face of adversity. A symbol of a nation's unwavering will to survive and thrive. The Dutch water defense lines were a marvel of hydraulic engineering. They were meticulously designed to manipulate water levels with precision. The system hinged on a network of canals and sluices. By strategically opening and closing sluice gates, Dutch engineers could direct water with calculated accuracy. The Dutch identified areas naturally susceptible to flooding. They constructed a system of dikes and canals to further control the water's reach. During times of peace, these canals served as vital waterways for transport and trade. The Dutch recognized the importance of water depth. A deeper flood would render the terrain impassable, turning the land into a treacherous swamp. This understanding of water's versatility as a defensive weapon was central to the water defense line's effectiveness. The placement of the Dutch water defense lines was a masterpiece of military strategy. Positioned further inland, they created a deadly trap for any invading force. Lured into a false sense of security, enemy troops would advance into the heart of the Netherlands. Once within the designated area, the Dutch would unleash a controlled deluge. The land would transform into an impassable sea, leaving the enemy stranded and vulnerable. The water defense lines were adapted and expanded over time. New fortifications were built, and existing ones were strengthened. Strategically placed forts served as strongpoints within the watery labyrinth. These forts provided shelter for Dutch troops and housed artillery to bombard the stranded enemy. The lines ensured continued effectiveness against evolving military tactics. A symphony of structures, dams, dikes, and deliberate deluges. The Dutch water defense lines were a symphony of structures, each playing a crucial role in the grand orchestra of defense. Dikes stood as earthen walls against the encroaching waters. Dams regulated the flow, strategically placed to control water levels. Some dams were permanent structures, others temporary, erected quickly in times of war. Teams of engineers and laborers worked tirelessly to maintain the dikes, dredge the canals, and ensure the smooth operation of the sluice gates. It was a collective effort, a testament to the Dutch people's commitment to their nation's safety. Their deep understanding of the power of water was crucial. The Eighty Years' War, a baptism by fire. The Dutch water defense lines were battle-tested bulwarks that played a pivotal role in shaping the destiny of the Netherlands. Their first major test came during the Eighty Years' War, a struggle for independence against the mighty Spanish Empire. In this conflict, the water defense lines proved their worth. During the Siege of Leiden in 1574, the Spanish army surrounded the city, aiming to starve it into submission. The Dutch, led by William of Orange, faced a daunting task. They broke open dikes along the Meuse and Ijassel rivers, intentionally flooding the polders surrounding Leiden. The water surged across the landscape, transforming the battlefield into a treacherous expanse of water. The Spanish troops, caught off guard by the rising floodwaters, were forced to retreat, granting Leiden a momentous victory. 
the flood became etched in the nation's memory as a turning point in their fight for independence. A silent defender, the lines that secured peace. The water defense lines played a crucial role in securing peace for the fledgling Dutch Republic. Their existence served as a powerful deterrent, discouraging potential aggressors from considering an invasion. The reputation of the lines painted a clear picture of the watery grave that awaited any army foolish enough to challenge the Dutch. This deterrent effect was intricately linked to the economic realities of the time. The logistical nightmare of supplying a force bogged down in the flooded lowlands was a risk few commanders were willing to take. The water defense lines transformed the Netherlands into a formidable fortress protected by water. This aura of impenetrability allowed the Dutch to focus on their burgeoning economic and cultural development. The late 17th century witnessed another significant test for the Dutch water defence lines. The threat came from the south, as the armies of Louis XIV of France marched into the Low Countries. The Franco-Dutch War of 1672-1678 would prove to be a defining moment in the history of the water defence lines. The French invasion, spearheaded by military engineer Sébastien Le Prestre de Vauban, initially caught the Dutch off guard. The French forces managed to capture several key cities, throwing the Dutch Republic into a state of near panic. Yet, the spirit of the Dutch remained unbroken. Under the leadership of William III of Orange, they rallied their defences, utilising their intricate knowledge of the water defence lines. The deliberate flooding of polders and strategic positioning of troops once again proved effective, forcing the French into a war of attrition. The Dutch water defence lines were not merely military installations, they were transformative forces that left an indelible mark on the Dutch landscape. The act of manipulating water on such a grand scale reshaped the topography of the Netherlands, creating a unique landscape mosaic of polders, canals and fortified towns. The creation of polders, those tracts of land reclaimed from the sea or lakes, is perhaps the most visible legacy of the Dutch struggle against water. These meticulously drained and cultivated areas stand as testaments to human ingenuity and perseverance. The water defense lines incorporated and expanded upon this existing network of polders. The lines themselves, with their canals, dikes and strategically placed forts, became integral parts of the Dutch countryside. Canals, originally designed for defense, evolved into vital arteries for transportation and trade. Fortified towns, once bulwarks against invasion, transformed into bustling centres of commerce and culture. The constant battle against the encroaching waters fostered a culture of innovation and problem-solving in the Netherlands. The very survival of the Dutch people depended on their ability to understand, predict and manipulate the forces of nature. This necessity bred a deep-seated respect for engineering and a remarkable capacity for technological advancement. The iconic Dutch windmills, for instance, were engineering marvels, harnessing the power of the wind to pump water, grind grain and power industries. The development of advanced dredging techniques showcased Dutch ingenuity in water management. This spirit of innovation extended beyond hydraulic engineering, the Dutch made significant contributions to cartography, shipbuilding and agriculture. The challenges posed by their watery environment ignited their collective imagination and drove them to ever greater heights of achievement. The water lines in the national psyche, from symbols of defence to icons of identity. Over time, the Dutch water defence lines became deeply entwined with the Dutch national psyche. They evolved into potent symbols of Dutch resilience, ingenuity and their enduring bond with water. The lines, once feared instruments of war, were gradually embraced as integral parts of the Dutch national heritage. The stories of the water defence lines became interwoven with Dutch folklore and national identity. The courage of those who defended the lines, the ingenuity of the engineers and the collective effort of the Dutch people contributed to a shared national narrative of resilience. Today, 
Many sections have been preserved or repurposed, transformed into scenic parks, hiking trails, and tourist attractions. They stand as silent yet powerful reminders of a time when the Dutch people turned their greatest challenge into their greatest strength. Legacy in the Landscape The Water Lines Today, centuries after their creation, the Dutch water defence lines are no longer active military fortifications. Their cannons are silent, their floodgates poised, but not with the tension of war. Yet, they remain vital. The lines have become an integral part of the Dutch landscape, woven into the fabric of the nation's identity. Today, these lines of defence have transformed into lines of life. They meander through the countryside, encircling historic towns and cities. Once formidable barriers, they are now scenic routes for cyclists and hikers. The forts, once bristling with soldiers, now house museums and cultural centres. The intricate network of canals and waterways, originally designed for strategic flooding, now serves a different purpose, crucial for water management. Guardians of the Future Adapting to a Changing Climate The Dutch water defence lines stand as a powerful reminder of the ever-present challenge of living in a country where land and water constantly vie for dominance. This challenge is even more relevant today as the world faces the growing threat of climate change. Rising sea levels and more frequent extreme weather events pose significant risks to low-lying coastal regions like the Netherlands. The Dutch, with their centuries-old experience in water management, are at the forefront of developing innovative solutions to adapt to a changing climate. The water defence lines provide a valuable framework for modern-day defences. The principles of controlled flooding, strategic dike construction, and innovative water management techniques are being applied to create a new generation of defences. The Dutch are investing heavily in strengthening their coastal defences, developing sophisticated early warning systems, and implementing sustainable water management practices. Section 3. A Global Blueprint – Lessons from the Dutch Masters The Dutch water defence lines are not merely a historical curiosity, they offer valuable lessons for the world. As nations around the globe grapple with the challenges of rising sea levels and increasingly unpredictable weather patterns, the Dutch experience in water management has become a source of inspiration and guidance. The Dutch have become global leaders in water management. They share their expertise through international collaborations, research programs, and knowledge-sharing initiatives. From the delta regions of Southeast Asia to the low-lying coastal cities of North America, Dutch engineers and water management experts are working with their counterparts to develop tailored solutions based on the principles that have protected the Netherlands for centuries. The Dutch water defence lines, once symbols of a nation's fight for survival, have evolved into symbols of international cooperation and shared responsibility. They represent the power of human ingenuity to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. They stand as a testament to the enduring legacy of a nation that dared to defy the odds and build a future on water's edge. The Spirit of the Dutch Water Defence Lines The Dutch Water Defence Lines, a testament to human ingenuity and resilience, stand as a reminder of our capacity to adapt and overcome challenges. They embody the spirit of the Dutch people, their determination to protect their homeland, and their ability to turn adversity into advantage. The genius lay in their elegant simplicity, harnessing water as an ally. Today, the legacy of the water defence lines shapes the landscape and influences Dutch culture. Section 2. Beyond the Dikes. Lessons in Resilience and Adaptation. The Dutch water defence lines offer profound lessons in resilience and adaptation. In a world facing climate change, the Dutch experience is a beacon of hope. We must learn to live in harmony with nature. The Dutch have mastered adaptation through centuries of trial and error. Their story is a testament to collective action and long-term planning. Section 3. 
a watery mirror, reflecting on humanity's bond with nature. The Dutch water defense lines mirror humanity's relationship with nature, highlighting our role in its intricate web. They emphasize the importance of respecting our ecosystems and the consequences of disruption. This story of resilience and ingenuity transcends boundaries, guiding us towards a sustainable future.